G'day, let's go over the auto shop business in GTA Online and show you how you can make a lot of money through this business. This guide is going to give you a full rundown on this business and if you enjoy content like this, go down below, leave a like and subscribe and let's go. First things first, we gotta buy one of these. So let's just head to the Maze Bank foreclosure website, go to the auto shop selection and you can see there's quite a few of these around the downtown area. The cheapest selection is going to cost you about $1.6 million and if you're watching this at the time of recording, Recording, these are all currently on discount as well as the upgrades. Now when it comes to your style, tint and emblem, they're all purely cosmetic. You're not going to need to get those upgrades. However, I would recommend getting both staff members as an upgrade as that's going to help us make some money. The personal headquarters, I would recommend getting that too as well as the car lift and now we're all set. So the first way of making money through this business, these are going to be your staff members here who are going to be pretty much just collecting vehicles and telling you, hey, there's a customer that needs a vehicle that needs some service and some upgrades put on them. You just need to go ahead and do this by pressing right D-pad when a vehicle has been delivered and you'll see a checklist in the bottom right hand corner. If you get five out of five, then you're gonna earn more money by the end of this when you do deliver the vehicle. When you get the selection to deliver by staff or yourself, I would recommend driving the vehicle yourself as sometimes the staff can crash the vehicle and you'll earn less money. So we net profit 25K from these and this week in particular, if you're watching at the time of recording, you'll earn $50,000 as these are paying double money and RP. So Sasanta will give you a message typically every 48 minutes in real life to say a customer has dropped the vehicle off. The second way of making money through this business is the exotic exports list. Now this is going to update every day in real life. So every 24 hours and there will be 10 vehicles that you have to collect and deliver for some additional cash and RP. Now I'll leave a link in the description down below. This is going to be a map that you can use as a reference guide to go to those locations and see if the vehicle has spawned at a specific location. It's not a guarantee every time that it will spawn at all of those locations. They are just potential locations that they could spawn at. Typically, you'll make $20,000 per vehicle that you return. And for each 10 cars that you deliver back every day, you can make an additional $100,000 from this. But this week at the time of recording, you'll earn $40,000 per vehicle and $200,000 for the daily reward. And the next way to make money through this business is going to be the client jobs. So these here are like little mini heists and basically we're trying to get the union depository contract if you guys don't see this on your board just start up any contract and once you start it up just exit the auto shop give Sasanta a phone call and cancel the contract just walk back into the auto shop and just keep on rinse and repeating this process until you see the union depository contract now when starting this heist I would recommend using the hustler weapon loadout and it's pretty simple so I'm gonna walk you through one how to complete this and two how easy it is to do all you need to do is go to the union depository here and enter the elevator. You will swipe the ID pass to this guard here and then enter the elevator. From here, you will go into the vault and steal some gold. I do recommend having some snacks and some armor on standby as the cops are gonna be pretty brutal, but just follow this exact route that I'm taking here. You will need to take out quite a few policemen and the police cars that you see here, you won't be able to enter, but this one outside, you should be able to get inside of it and just head to this location. There'll be a helipad and typically Typically, there will be a police helicopter here that you can just enter and fly to the client. But if you have lost the cops too quickly, or if you take too long to get to that location, then the helicopter will not spawn. Unfortunately, at the time of recording, this is not double money, but it is going to still pay you $270,000. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is how you can make plenty of money through the auto shop business in GTA Online. If you want to see more content like this, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.